everyone. Hello and welcome back to Do We Have the Answer, the podcast where we answer questions submitted by you, our listeners. As always, I'm Laura. I'm a librarian for the Ocean County Library and I am joined by... I'm Kate and I'm also a librarian at the Ocean County Library. Woohoo! All right. (laughs) Happy New Year. I can't remember what date we met last time for our last podcast, but Since then, we've had the holidays and the new year, and um, I hope everyone had a lovely new year and a holiday season. Yeah, can only get better, right? Exactly. And you know what? We're we're waiting for some snow tomorrow, right? Everyone, we are- I heard one to 24 inches. Now, if that's not some sort of gap in (laughs) being unpredictable, I don't know why. I know, I know, right? I mean, hopefully we can get this podcast out in time so when people are hunkered down tomorrow in the big blizzard of 2022, they can um, listen to Do We Have the Answer, right? So fingers crossed for a nice snow day, even though it's the weekend. So it really, you know, kids are already home from school, so it really doesn't matter. But yeah, I don't think we haven't seen that much snow in forever, so that'll be fun. We did when we had that snow a couple of weeks ago. I know Tom's River and Point and a couple mm-hmm. like the Northern Ocean County didn't get hit. Mm-hmm. Down in Little Egg, it was about we had about a foot ish of snow. There was okay. a lot of snow. Yeah, yeah. There was a lot. You forget how big Ocean County is, right? Mm-hmm. Like sometimes it's raining here and it's not raining there and whatever. So it'll be exciting. But I, I think all of Ocean County is going to get hit tomorrow. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right, everyone. So again, thank you for joining us. And now today, actually, we we have a really interesting question that someone submitted, and it goes perfectly with this time of year. Someone had asked, what are some cool statistics that you could share with us? So we thought it would be really fun to do an end of the year 2021 statistics of just some, you know, random stats about Ocean County Library that took place throughout the 2021 year. I guess I'll jump right into the yeah, first ones it. that I have. Most of my stats that I found are on most of our digital resources that we have. So the first one I'm going to talk about is a resource that we have called Freegal, which is a music streaming service that with your library card, everyone has access to. The first one I wanted to present were how many songs were streamed on Freegal in 2021. 71,329 songs were streamed by 311 patrons. So that's a lot of songs. That th- those 311 patrons listen to a lot of songs. So I thought that was really cool. That, and if you haven't checked out Free Goal, I suggest you do. They have a lot of really cool music on there. They have full albums. It's unlimited streaming. So, you know, if you're on a Wi-Fi device, you can just stream to your heart's content. That's a lot of songs, 71,300. And then my next one I was able to find out, and I'm, this is going to be a shameless plug because I had a little something to do with this. So we wanted to know what were the most listened to playlists on free goal because ocean county library they can create their own playlists and the first one the most listened to for 2021 was the retro rock in the work week so that okay. was the most and then the next two were totally 90s and totally oh. 80s and yours truly created those two uh <laughs> playlists so i thought that was really cool yeah but that's something that's really cool too so ocean county library can create their own playlists and then you the listeners can create your own playlists too and it's just, it's a lot of fun, the Free Goal. I love the Free Goal app. I've, I I am one of those um, streamers. I'm one of the 311. So I think you guys should go and check out Free Goal with your active library card. Give it a try. There's a ton of music on there. Like you'd be surprised what's on there. Yeah, I've heard some, uh, we get the announcements as staff. So we know, you know, to tell our patrons the same thing. And I remember, correct me if I'm wrong, the new Taylor Swift album was on there. Yes, absolutely. And Adele, I think too. Yep. And okay. like I know I know this one rock band that I think is really popular now on TikTok that Monaskeen, they're like a, a rock band from Italy. They were just on <laughs> SNL. They were just on SNL last week and they they performed at the um New Year's Rock and Eve. 
Okay. Um, but they're on there, you know, and it's just like, it's really cool. So it's fun. And there's a lot of like obscure stuff too. And like soundtracks, you know, sometimes I have difficulty finding soundtracks, but yeah, I thought that was really cool. So everyone should go check out free goal. So you can access that on our website and just go to our um, digital resources section and you can find it there. Let's see. I think I'm going to start with the top website searches for 2021. So I have a list of the top 10 here. These searches are the most popular from just, uh, there's on the, the top left-hand corner of our website, there's a search bar. Mm-hmm. You can search everything that we have on our website. And the number one search term was newspapers. Ooh. You know, I'm so, not surprised. I'm not surprised. Right. So between the local newspaper webpage that we have, that shares micromedia, sandpaper, all of those great newspapers locally. We also have access digitally to New York Times, Atlantic mm-hmm. City Press, all those other ones. And number two on that list, directly related, is the Star Ledger. So that Ooh. was the most popular of the newspapers searched. That was number one. That's interesting. I'll read the rest of the list real quick too. Number three was Tab which is our teen volunteer program. If you do search TAB, the Teen Advisory Board, you can find out different ways that you can volunteer as a teen for our library, which has changed a little bit with COVID and all that. There are still some ways that you can collect volunteer hours. That's really cool that TAB is in the top three searches because that means teens are utilizing our website and that's super exciting. Yes. (laughs) <laughs> I just I, as, as two a, former teen librarians exactly <laughs> two <very> former <laughs> teens and it was just like you know oh that's warms my heart awesome and then number four is Native American I'm not sure if they were searching for one of our databases looking mm. for something in our catalog novelist I'm going to tell you I was probably 99% of the searches for novelist it is my favorite database and I'll tell mm-hmm. you about it really quick it gives you book recommendations based off of, it could be um, a book read-alike. So if you really liked uh, a series, it'll recommend another one for you. An author read-alike, it will give you the Lexile levels, reading levels, all those good things. And Mm -hmm. one of the coolest things is that if you do want to read something, you can check and see if it's in our catalog. Awesome. Nice little button. I love Novelist. I do too. I'm on it. Like I said, I was on probably most of those searches. <laughs> Value line was another one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Beanstack, number seven. And if we're listening to our podcast, we I hope all our listeners know it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the sensory space, which opened this year in 2021, that mm-hmm. was number eight on the list, which is very cool. It's located in our Tom's River branch. Number nine, hours. I guess people wanted to know what we're open. So that's really oh, cool okay. too. Cool. And the number 10, Rosetta Stone. Awesome. I guess if you're, if you're still home and you, you're learning a new language. Yeah, those are those are really cool searches. It's interesting to see, like, all the different type of stuff people are looking for, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's it helps so cool. us out, too. Yeah, then, exactly. We, then we kind of get an idea of what people are looking for, you know, and what, what their interests are and things like that. So that was really yeah. cool. Yeah. Those were some awesome stats. Thank you, Kate. So the, the next one I have is another awesome digital resource that I highly recommend, and that is called Creative Bug. Creative Bug is a resource that we have. If you go to our database page, just search Creative Bug, it's there. It's kind of like a a YouTube just for crafting, arts and crafts, how to hobbies. Yeah, different gardening, um, cooking is included too. Exactly. Yes, yes. There's just so much to offer there. And it offers really high quality how to videos. And it's really cool because because it gives PDFs that you can print out. So if you don't want to watch the video, it gives you material lists. It's just a really well thought out database. They have real professionals that do these videos. So like they know what they're talking about. You know, they're part of the craft. I thought this was really cool. In 2021, 2,559 unique videos were watched. And it seems like July was our most popular month um, and 219 active users used Creative Bug just in July. Okay. Um, So people were really interested in finding hobbies (laughs) in the summertime of July. 
And just, um, it seems like the most popular video that was streamed were the daily practice series. There's a couple series in there and it challenges you to a month of making 30 day art prompts. So the most popular one was the daily painting challenge, 31 flowers to paint with Yao Ching. A card a day with hero arts was number two. And number three is from block to print, a printmaking daily challenge. They have knitting videos, crocheting uh-huh. videos. Um, if you use a cricket, if you have a cricket machine, there's cricket videos. So it's really, really cool. And I suggest everyone go check that out. It's such a great database and it's so well done. I think it's probably one of my favorites. It is very cool. I've been on there too. And it, like when you said that's high quality videos, it they're professionally done. Yeah, um, like pr- production great. team. Yeah, yes, absolutely. The lighting, the backdrop, the camera angles, the whole yes. thing. It's they're really nice. Yeah, and everyone yeah. who presents the videos, like I said, they are supreme, like top in the craft. The one woman who does the crochet is like on the head of the yarn committee of America. Or it's it's high quality <laughs> stuff. So I suggest if you want to learn a new hobby take a look at uh, Creative Bug. It's really, really neat. Yeah, you know what that would be good for too is before you go and buy all of the craft supplies and then try to get watch them do it and see if it's something you really want to do. (laughs) Exactly, because you could just look up the materials list like right beforehand and it tells you exactly everything you need. And I think... Again, I'm sorry to keep pushing this blizzard tomorrow, but I think tomorrow is a great day for Creative Bug. <laughs> I think you're right. I do. I think there's uh, there's kids projects on there too. Yes. It's not just for adults. It's for exactly. all ages. Yeah, absolutely. Kind of intertwined with that if we're going to talk about videos. And so our library has a YouTube page and mm-hmm. then all of our YouTube videos end up on our Facebook page. We also have them on our website. So there's a lot of different ways you can watch our videos. But for 2021, we had a combined 1,244 hours of our OCL created by staff videos viewed on YouTube. Wow. 1,244 hours, That's which is absolutely, it is. And if you think about it, I took a look at some of our YouTube videos before we, we came on. Most of them, I mean, we have some of their half hours, some mm-hmm. 20 minutes, but the majority of them, they're under 10 minutes. It might be yeah. a quick craft video or this is how you use this database kind of mm-hmm. thing to add up to 1,200 hours. That's yeah, that's a awesome. lot of viewing. Yeah. And in one year alone, you know, yes, we were busy uploading all those videos. Yeah, that's what we do. <laughs> Yeah, and I think everyone should check out our YouTube page. There is so much content there. It's really neat because they have it divided into like age groups. So if you want just children's programming, you can click that playlist. If you want adult crafts, you can click that playlist. What's really fun too is they actually record a lot of the virtual programs that we've done. So if there was something that you wanted to attend but you couldn't because you had something to do that day, you could see if they recorded it and see if it's on the YouTube. So that's really cool. Cool. All right. So next, I think these are going to be some of the databases or digital resources that people might be more familiar with. Overdrive and Libby. I think a bulk of the people are familiar with that. So Overdrive and Libby, that's one of our digital resources for audiobooks and ebooks. Mm-hmm. And based on some of these numbers, people are using it. So the total checkouts for 2021 in Overdrive, so that includes both audiobooks and ebooks, was 424,946 checkouts. Say that one more time. 424,946. 424,946. Wow. That is a lot of wow. checkouts, right? Wow. <laughs> I know. And so interestingly enough, the top checkout for both audio and ebook, they were the same title, was Kristen Hanna's book, The Four Winds. There were 612 circulations for the audiobook and 1,616 for the ebook. Okay. So it's really interesting. For that being the most checked out book, I thought it would have been a little higher based on those total checkouts. You know what I right. mean? Like, right. and then the Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets was the top audio book for juvenile material. 
Okay. So that had 443 circulations. So I thought that was cool. And then also the Overdrive company, they submit this really cool end of the year little web page that some of the staff can check out. And it told you what the most popular genre was. I thought that was really cool. And it compares to other libraries. So it tells you if, if your library, if it's more than every other library or whatever. So our top genre was thriller, which I was surprised. So okay. 193,288 total checkouts of thriller books were checked out. I believe that. With yeah. all the true crime and everybody's mm -hmm. into that. I believe that. Yeah, yeah. And then the second one was romance, which was okay. 129,525 checkouts. And then okay. the, le the least checked out genre was history with 19,060 checkouts, which I thought was interesting. I think they, they circulate in the library often, history. Mm -hmm. So maybe people prefer books book. yeah, right. with, with that, like that genre. But I thought that was really cool. 424,946 checkouts, you know, just an overdrive. That's not even our other database that we have. Sure. Um, and I'd be interested. I got to go look up and see what that number was for 2020 when we were, when we were closed for quarantine for those two months, I would be interested to compare that number. I'm going to look. I'm going to look that up when we're done okay. here. <laughs> <laughs> also related to that, this wasn't for the full year. This was for December of 2021. I have the top three authors and then the top three titles. Ooh, fun. The top author, which I'm not surprised, is James Patterson. Number two, we have Jeff Kinney, Diary of a Wonder Kid. Wonder Kid yeah. yep. And then Mo Willems is number three. These are not a big surprise to me. Mo Willems oh. of uh, Don't Let the uh, Pigeon Ride the uh, Drive the Bus. Yeah. Uh, Leonardo the Terrible Monster. All those wonderful ones. Awesome. Then, pretty related, the top titles, James Patterson, The Jailhouse Lawyer. Ooh, um, okay. Jeff Kinney, Diary of a Wimpy Kids, specifically. Big shot. And then number three is Stuart Woods, Class Act. There's Stuart Woods in there. Okay, class act. Did those three books come out in 2021? Like, were they new titles? I, no idea, but I'm yeah, not. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just be, <laughs> I would just be curious. I'm pretty sure Stuart Woods was 2021. And Jailhouse Lawyer, I didn't even, I haven't even heard of that one from Patterson. He writes so many, I can't keep track. <laughs> yeah, yeah, our, our new arrivals list. Always has James Patterson, Stuart Woods on it. And like you said, not surprising. Okay, so the Stuart Woods title, Class Act, was published August of 21. So oh, that okay. makes some sense for that. Yeah. Yeah, and all these books, you can check them out at your local branch, the library. Perfect if you come this afternoon and get some books for this blizzard that we have coming tomorrow. Yeah, or come in and learn how to use the e-reader that you got for Christmas. <laughs> oh, there you <laughs> go. The, Absolutely. Before the blizzard. <laughs> See, this is going to give me. Uh, yep, September 2021. This is all making sense right now. Yeah. Perfect one. timing. Yeah. And you said Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Big oh, shot, right? Yes. Let's see. October 2021. What? Yeah, because they're right around that cusp, that like two, three month mark. Yeah. After when they came out. That's really cool. Yeah. Awesome. I love it. All right. Um, so the next statistic that I found out, so this is our Hoopla resource that we have. So Hoopla is really cool. They have audiobooks, ebooks, there's music on Hoopla, there's TV shows, there's uh, movies. So it's kind of like a Libby Overdrive and Netflix and Regal or Spotify or Apple Music meshed into one. There's, yeah, that one's, I love Hoopla. It's really cool. The number of checkouts on Hoopla for 2021, and this is all formats combined. So it's music, movies, books, everything. 102,325 checkouts. Okay. And the top audio book on Hoopla was the Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone with 240 checkouts. The most popular ebook was The Duke and I by Julia Quinn, which is part of the Bridgerton series. So that makes sense because that right. was a big TV show of 2021. And the um, Harry Potter audio takes up 
five um, all top 10 checkouts in Hoopla. Wow. So the, the first five are all Harry Potter audiobooks. All these That's years, Harry about. Potter is still super popular. Yeah. Well, because think about it. Now the people who are reading them are now the parents of yeah. like right around the age of when they would exactly. start reading them. Exactly. So it's really it's cool nostalgia. to see that. Yep. That yeah. Come full circle, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then just fun facts. So uh, between Overdrive and Hoopla, the most popular format from the Hoopla is audiobooks. That's the most popular. And okay. Overdrive is clearly ebooks. So most people are getting their ebooks from Overdrive and Libby. I prefer do my ebooks. I prefer Libby. I think that's my favorite. I can't do ebooks. No. I, no, I prefer looking at an actual book. A real book, yeah. yeah. I, I agree. I was hesitant to do, um, I got a Kindle maybe two years ago. I didn't like it in the beginning. And then when I realized how much space I can save in my, sure. my uh, suitcase when I travel, I yeah. switched over to the um, tablet, the uh, Kindle. And um, yeah, so that's what I'm, I'm using. And I find I, I am reading more because I'm not waiting True. as often, you know, so that that's kind of a thing. But there's nothing like holding a real book. You know, I, people say that all the time. There's just something about turning the page and uh yeah. Like you see your progress. I think that's what I like about it. It's like, mm -hmm. it makes me feel like I'm accomplishing something as I'm going through. Yeah. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, no, but I totally get it. I have to say, and I don't know why I didn't think of this before, because my first thought was to get a book light, which isn't a bad idea anyway. Mm -hmm. But if I'm wide awake in the middle of the night and I don't want to wake anybody else up, I could just pull a candle out <laughs> and read my yeah. book because otherwise I'm sitting in bed and I'm just like, I could be reading right now, but if I turn on the light, <laughs> yeah, you're that's gonna not wake there. Up. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's to each his own, and everyone has their own preference. But there's just nothing like turning a page of a book. You're right. I get it. Okay. It's all right. Yeah. Everybody's got their preferences. <laughs> hey, you know what? You're reading. You're reading. Exactly. You're exactly. reading a cookbook on a Kindle. You're reading. I don't know. Stuart mm -hmm. Woods on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're checking out Stuart Wood's uh, class act. Class act. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to rattle off a whole lot of Facebook stuff. Before you start, I think now is a good time to do our secret word. We've been yes, talking please. an awful lot. Yes. First, I'm going to announce our winner from our last podcast. The winner is Serena, one of our listeners who frequents the Tom's River branch. So, congratulations, Serena. You got the secret word last time, and that is escaping my brain. I cannot even. Jolly. Holly Jolly. Jolly. That was the secret word. Good for you. <laughs> so, Serena, we will reach out to you. Congratulations on winning, and we will get you your prize pack together, and we'll call you and let you know. So, everyone, our secret word, because I'm so excited and waiting for it, tomorrow is snow. <laughs> We are hoping for snow. So the secret word for uh, week six of our podcast is snow. So if you go in, um, to our Beanstack Challenge, the Do We Have the Answer Challenge, look for the badge for week six and input the secret word, which is snow. Okay, oh sorry. And then so you said while, while you're on the internet, <laughs> <laughs> head over to our events calendar on our website and go to... Do we have the answer? You can search for that right in our events calendar. Just If you just put do we in, it'll pop up. Click on the link. In there will be a separate link to a Google form and submit your questions to us. We need your questions to keep going. The questions Absolutely. just like the question we got today about these stats. Mm -hmm. These are the questions that keep this fun for us because we don't know what to expect. And mm -hmm. I hope it's fun for you to hear your question and the answer. Yeah, keep those questions coming. We have a lot of fun doing this, and we want to continue to do it in the new year of 2022 for you. So yes. like Kate said, go to our Trumba. Um, if you go to our website on the events page, you can find Dewey there and submit your questions. So, right, so you said Facebook stats. This is exciting. This will be the entirety of all of the stats that I have, because I think I'm just going to group them all together. Okay. Okay, so in 2021... The Ocean County Library posted 1,084 posts 
that is only on Facebook. We also have an Instagram page too. That's very active, but this is just for Facebook. Mm -hmm. The total reach, which means the people or accounts that saw our posts, Mm -hmm. 1,125,435 total accounts reached. That's so cool. Our posts were shared 3,839 times. We have 15,278 likes and then 1,056 comments on all of those posts. If we had 1,084 posts and 1,056 comments, that's at least, you know, not every post will have a comment, but Mm -hmm. statistically wise, (laughs) it's around one per one per post. Okay. Yeah. That's so, cool. so then the Facebook page also reached a milestone on July 17th where we reached 10,000 likes. So 10,000 people like our Facebook page. And the top performing post for 2021 was on July 1st announcing that we are a fine free library, which is really exciting. That is and true. It reached 14,360 people, and it was the most shared, liked, and commented post for the year, probably ever. That's awesome. <laughs> well, that, is, that is a super big thing to announce, you know, that's just, that's really cool that we're fine free. And it's cool to see that everyone appreciates that too, you know, that's pretty cool. Yes. Yeah. No, it is really cool. When I'm sitting at the desk and I can hear the circulation staff giving new cards to patrons, they explain we're fine free and all of that. Or you have a customer running and going, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry this book is late. And then they remind them and they go, no, it's okay. We're a fine free library. It's just like this sense of relief or like a, oh, cool kind of thing. It's nice to see it from the outside kind of, you know what I mean? Yes. But, uh, you know, everybody's very excited. You know, and it just gives people an opportunity. Come use the library, you know, like that's what we're here for. Get your library card. Yeah, so it's just, it's a good thing. It is. And we found during the pandemic when nobody was dropping off their books and we were fine free for that, just that little bit after the quarantine, Mm -hmm. people still brought their items back. It was over 90% of of patrons brought their items back when we reopened. If you're on social media, make sure you check out our Facebook page. The Ocean County Library has a Facebook page. They have an Instagram There's a Twitter, the YouTube that we mentioned. Uh, You're listening right now on Anchor FM. Exactly, exactly. And they're all listed, I'm sorry. Yeah, at the top of our website, theoceancountylibrary.org, all of our social media are in Mm -hmm. nice little bubbles. You can just click whichever one you want to go to. Exactly, and it'll bring you right to the social media page. So make sure you give us a like there. And you'll even, you'll find when programs drop, upcoming programs our podcast, you know, if they'll announce there's other, and there's tons of other podcasts that OCL does too, which are really cool. So make sure you check those out and just fun announcements. You know, we have a really great social media um, and it's an active page. So make sure you go check it out and give us a like if you have not already. I have one more um, stat to share. Are yours all done, Kate? I or... am. I am done. Okay. So <laughs> one more. We have access to magazines, you know, like I find Magazines are a little pricey, you know, especially that like lately. Um, so you have access to so many magazines for free with your library card. With our Overdrive app, you have access to magazines. So 13,380 magazines were checked out just okay. through Overdrive. And there's over 3,500 magazines to choose from there, which is really cool. And then there, um, through Hoopla, you do have access to magazines with their Binge Pass service. That came out recently, so there was only 39 checkouts with that one, but that's something new that Hoopla offers, which is really cool. So then one checkout gives you seven-day access to all the magazines in their collection, and they have over 50 different magazines to choose from, so that's really cool. And then Flipster, you have unlimited access to current and back issues of over 140 titles. And we saw 5,634 checkouts in 2021. 
So that's really cool. So if there's magazines out there, you know, if we don't carry them in the library or maybe it's a magazine that you just don't have access to, check it out and see if any of those three options, so either Overdrive, Hoopla with the Binge Pass service, or Flipster, they might have the magazine. Or it's just something different to read instead of books. You know, reading magazines is still reading, just like reading mm -hmm. newspapers. So people know that the magazines are there, like I said. 13,380 just in overdrive alone. But I think that's really cool. I haven't read a magazine in a long time. I used to Me read either. magazines all the time. Yeah. So I, I think I should go check that out. Oh. Yeah, no, you're right. I haven't either. I've yeah. Time. And there's so many different types of magazines, you know. <laughs> it's yeah. like there's there's got to be some fun stuff. I mean, I love my my people magazine. <laughs> Celebrity, oh, yeah. celebrity gossip, you know, <laughs> oh, whatever. So yeah, so if you're into magazines, you have access to those. So go check those out. That's the last of my stats. Man, we those presented, yeah, we presented so many numbers. I hope you folks found this interesting. I mean, I just, I love statistics. I mean, I don't know if it has to do with being a librarian and we just love information, but the numbers are really what keeps us going, you know, because it's the whole point of, you know, like people like what we have, you know, and things like yeah. that. So if we don't keep track of that, we don't know what our customers' interests are and things like right. that. So it's really important that we keep track of this. I mean, who would have thought that all those web searches, like you said, newspapers, Star Ledger, or Tab, it's just really cool we have access to that and we can see what everyone's interested in. And um, it's just it, fun to see what people like to read too, you know? Yeah, it also shows us a need. Absolutely. What the community needs. Absolutely. What's something that we could purchase more of or less of. Yeah, absolutely. Helps in a lot of different ways. So everyone, I hope you go check out some of these things that we've talked about today if you haven't. So remember, there's Free Goal, the music streaming. There's Creative Bug. There's Overdrive, Hoopla. Go check out our Facebook page, our YouTube page. There's tons of content on all these platforms for everyone to check out. I think we should do this next year and see, see what our 2022 has to offer us and see what great things are to come um, in the new year, right? All right, Kate, it was so great to see you. You too. Fingers Stay crossed. warm. Yes, fingers what crossed for snow. toothpaste on your nose? Hug Pajamas a inside out. Oh, hug a tree? Yeah, you know, I, I remember <laughs> someone saying that like back in like third grade and I just been like hug a tree and I just haven't let it go since. So Fair. every time, okay. yeah, and I'm just at this point, hey, whatever works. <laughs> wow. Something I can't remember what you're supposed to put under your pillow. There's something under your pillow. Oh, okay. Well, we'll look that up. We'll do it all yeah. tonight. We'll do it all yeah. tonight. So everyone, don't forget, secret words, snow. We'll come back at the next podcast. We'll discuss the, the blizzard if we have it or not. Yes. Um, you know, this might be out in time that you folks can listen to it during the blizzard and you'll think this is funny because we're talking about it. Or if not, you're going to be like, we didn't get snow, whatever. Right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, it was great to see you, Kate. Everyone, I hope you have a wonderful day, weekend, night, whatever time you're listening to this. And we'll talk soon. All right. Bye. All right. Bye, everybody. Support public libraries, like, share, and subscribe for more great videos.